What it does for, uh, it's, it's very important to realize for non-union and union construction workers that on building projects that have a wage level that's set above $350,000, when bidding those, those projects, a certain set of wages have to be used for that project. Uh, and those wages are set based upon local communities and what and it's common construction wage, same thing as prevailing wage, which means uh, it's the wage that is uh, most closely related to the, to the local community uh, where this project is gonna take effect. If you wanna look uh, right down here in Indianapolis, would be like Lucas Oil Stadium, or it would be like the new hospital, Eskenazi Hospital. Uh, those are very large projects, and project labor agreements uh, help to ensure that that project was done on time and on budget, and that's the number one thing why that is so important uh, for work like that to, to have the opportunity to be performed that way. What, what it consists of is there's a five-member board that actually sets the wages. Those members are made up of different uh, entities uh, or entities representatives, like let's say the, uh, the council will have one of the appointments. Uh, the owner of the project will be able to set one of those, uh, uh, one of those people on the board. Uh, right now, you've got the ABC for the last couple of years have had a member on that, uh, that board. And there's, there's a couple of their appointed people that are in representing, uh, also representing taxpayers. So it's, it's a member, from, it's a cross-sectional uh, membership that most closely also relates to the locality where that project is going to take place. You know, this is the thing that sometimes it it's, seems like uh, that people are, it's difficult to understand, but everyone benefits from having a common construction wage. Uh, it definitely benefits union and non-union uh, people, and it benefits everyone because what it does, it, it actually lifts the wage up a little bit higher. It's going gonna, it's gonna to lift it in the area of what the local uh, areas pay now and what that does is that that puts better dollars in paychecks in workers pockets it puts better dollars on the streets those workers are going to spend more money in their communities 80 years ago uh, actually uh, Republicans uh, in, in instituted this so that they could keep out of uh, state contractors from coming in and low bidding jobs that uh, were better off going to local communities it's a way they saw fit to try to keep dollars in local communities and keep keep our economies growing. The status is, is uh, not in good shape. We had a meeting in the, uh, the Employment, Pensions and Labor Committee that lasted all morning long yesterday and uh, they voted out of committee uh, by a very partisan vote. They voted to uh, begin the process of repealing the common construction wage. Uh, I believe this is very, very bad for Indiana. It's going to hurt workers where they mo most need the money. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt our economy. When they, right now at a time when they're still trying to figure out where they get additional tax resources, uh, when you take dollars out of workers' pockets, you also put less toler tax dollars back into state government. So it's going to hurt in a very big way in the status right now. Uh, I would hope at very best it's uncertain because I would hope uh, better minds than were uh, that prevailed on that committee yesterday. I hope uh, more uh, minds with a little greater depth of wisdom are going to come forward and going to say it's uh, we're going to put a halt to this because the common construction wage is very important to everyone within the state of Indiana.